Uh, former President Jacob Zuma has reiterated that he is not afraid to go to jail. Zuma arrived back home from Cuba where he has been receiving medical treatment. Uh, Zuma spoke briefly at OR Tambo International Airport where he was welcomed by throngs of his supporters. His statement comes after he was issued with a warrant of arrest following his failure to appear at the Peter Marisburg High Court in his corruption case and at Zondo Commission earlier this month. Yes, brother. Yes, brother. All right, our reporter, political reporter Natasha Piri, is at uh, the airport and she spoke to some of his supporters. Well, very good afternoon to you. And of course, to our SABC viewers, indeed, that now concludes uh, the brief uh, message there by former President Jacob Zuma. Of course, I'm joined by his supporters behind me. And of course, these are the people that came all the way from their various regions uh, to actually welcome the former statesman. And of course, just in briefing, not only the media, but his supporters, he thanked them for their support. He says that he learned uh, of his warrant of arrest through Mzwanile Masina, who's the regional chairperson of the ANC within this region in Nekurleni also saying that he's not afraid of the courts, but also he, he wants to take care of his health so that uh, he could somewhat also make it back uh, to court. We all know that he's due back in court on the 6th of May at the Peter Maritzburg High Court. But let me just talk to some of his supporters and gauge their feelings and sentiments. Thank you for joining us in the SABC. So you came all the way from, you know, your region, your location. And I mean, how are you feeling right now? You heard the former president uh, speak to you. Yeah, thank you very much. I'm very much excited for having to see my president coming over. We've been waiting for him uh, uh, for the very long hours, early in the morning. We came here as, as early as 6 o'clock to wait for the president. Yes, I could tell that the president, of course, is a little bit of a jet lag. He's a little bit, uh, you can tell that he's still having uh, some medical issues. Uh, but we are happy, we are excited that now he came all the way uh, from Cuba to attend his own medical conditions. And uh, we are hoping that uh, he'll be able to, to sustain himself until the... Uh, uh, the 6th of May, because we will also give this kind of support to show the whole South Africa and the world at large that now uh, we're having a, a, a backbone of South Africa, a president who champion the African struggle. He's able to, to, to liberate ourselves mentally and otherwise. So the fight now, obviously, we understand is about economy. Uh, he's the only champion that we're able to, 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 to fight the cause. Let me take this conversation to other supporters. So we, we heard earlier on you guys were actually offering your unrelenting uh, un, uh, support and undying support for uh, the former president, uh, Jacob Zuma. But he himself now said on the podium that he's not afraid uh, of jail. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, we are here to, today to support the only president, the only person, the only president who was elected in, in, the, uh, in the democratic South Africa who defied the instructions of the white monopoly capital. That's why we are rallying behind him. And from here, we are going to KwaZulu Natal on the 6th of May to go and support him. We'll, we'll uh, mobilize the masses of South Africa to rally behind the president because he's the only one who, was, who came out and fight the white monopoly capital. Let me bring this conversation to Mama. Okay, it seems as if Mama is scared. Uh, I see a young person here. Um, I mean, I understand that you're all here in your numbers. You're supporting the former President Jacob Zuma. But, I mean, do you not then see this also as an attack on the judiciary? I mean, ever since uh, Judge Daya Pile made, uh, you know, that warrant of arrest or issued that warrant of arrest, there have been certain attacks uh, from the defunct ANC Youth League in KZN, in Limpopo, in the Free State. Uh, I was I would like to, to express myself in my own language. Now to Africa State, there is one thing I understand. You understand? The warrant was issued out for a president so that I appear on the 6th of May. But now, 
you cannot see a president as a criminal. Where else? Or to let him mulai kante, declare him to let kante, or free. Or to allow him to parliament, or to let kante. Eh, how do people help us South Africans? Okay, the president that is a movement of free education for all. How can I do that? No, no, sir. But how do I do that? But how can I do but two years in day out, but I like to go to Sabona. In Tolerin, it was promised to the government. I did President Jacob Zuma. So now it must, just, it must just be implemented. Because of now the way you want to get as a young person, this is a sabotage. I start our ring, get about it, well, our ring, I reach to the bill. And believe you me, Ogananga, President Jacob Zuma, one prosecutor. But I never want to get a lot of Rona, or what are the channel the way on about the Bona. Hano referee, where else seventy percent the account is on. He own a game of Hence, the but we are not going to be able to Seventy percent the own a game of war. Okay, now to am on a what am I? Why you room? Believe me, I swear. Little room, I never will occupy. Okay, yeah, how? Oh, why own a? Although I'm going to go here, how about it? So I will go. You understand? So now, now my chair guru Machwabasha. Let us go and support our president. How I say, Jalo, come on, Jalo, free education must fall. You understand? So, how can I support the President Jacob Zuma? And then, on the right as a human being, Lena, Yahori, till I recover, Aba Hunter Filler and Hunter, or Tasha Lakota at that time, Eloring a lot of Filler or Sala Hunter. Okay, well, thank you so much. Uh, just uh, some of the voices here from uh, those Zuma supporters, of course, are uh, pledging their undying uh, support uh, for President, former President Jacob Zuma, who have just arrived from Cuba. Of course, he was re uh, receiving treatment uh, of an unknown illness, or rather, they don't actually want to tell us what that illness is. But of course, you've heard what they all had to say that come the 6th of May, uh, they are coming out in their numbers to support uh, former President Jacob Zuma.